Blunt Leon is here. It was foolish of him to do that. It was selfish for him to do that. We will punish him. We won't punish us. That locker room is a sacred place. Disappointed with AB for that. My single focus is trying to win this game. This is the matchup, a critical matchup. Throws deep down the right side. There's the takeaway. That type of handsy play. All you need to do is make one. Make one play. The ball is loose. There's the takeaway that they were looking for. The Patriots is going back to the Super Bowl. the Steelers record book at the wide receiver position. This year he became the only the second player in NFL history with four straight seasons with over a hundred catches. We welcome Antonio Brown to the desk presented by Visa. And let me just also say you're turning into the next Peyton Manning. I've seen you in more commercials. They're hilarious. I love it. Thank you. It's good stuff. Are uh, y'all finished with, finish, finish with the pleasant trees? Mm -hmm. <laughs> well that open wasn't very nice that we showed. Let me, the let me explain. Love this brother, known him for years. The Facebook video that got you in trouble. What the hell were you thinking? What, what, what was that, man? What was that? I'm sorry for that. Uh, it was just a little excitement. You know, um, last year at that moment, you know, I got caught up in not being able to play when we played against Denver uh, last year and not even make the travel team. And just being excited for the win, emotional win. I got emotionally caught up in the atmosphere and was excited, and I'm sorry for the video, but um, we all made mistakes, you know. Uh, I'm sure you've been on air and said something you shouldn't have said. Yes, yes, you know, we, yes. We learn from it. Yes, <laughs> you're right, yeah. you're right. We learn from it, and, right. uh, and then move on. You know, I never meant to embarrass the organization, uh, make my teammates feel any other than I'm, I'm with them and uh, with the guys. And, uh, you know, I'm sorry for it. You know, I, I, in, in all seriousness, I appreciate that. Um, and I hate the fact, I hate where this story has gone in this sense. You can ball. When we talk about the top three receivers in the game, your name is consistently on the list. And what bothers me, what bothers me is that I'm reading reports out of Pittsburgh where you got folks talking about you should be traded because you're a distraction and you're not worth the money. I want to be I want the record to show. I think that's crazy. There's no way in hell that should happen. But what are your thoughts about people talking about it might be time for you to be out of Pittsburgh? Well, you can't listen to people. You know, I know where I stand with the organization. I know how my teammates feel about me. I know where I want to be and that's all important. You know, uh, the media has a job. Uh, we're, pu we're putting out things that are true. You know, we have a lot of people look at this show, look at things around the media that they put out. And uh, it's just been sad, you know, the things they've been saying about me as of late in regards of a guy who don't run his routes full speed and a guy who piled in after the championship game. And, um, you know, I know criticism comes with the job and the position I'm in, and I'm willing and able to accept that uh, position and know what comes with it. But uh, to say those type of things is just not true for the, and not fact. For the record, Max, that wasn't said on this show by any of us. Yeah. That was said by the Pittsburgh Post. Well, but so, doesn't that fire uh, you up? And doesn't that fire you up and kind of refocus you to get back on the field next year? I mean, it motivates you. And uh, every year you got to find encouragement and motivation to go back out there and be your best self. And uh, I think it would be inspiring for me this year in 2017. On this show, when it was talked about uh, trading Antonio Brown. We were unanimous about that. You, you have, you're an all-time producer. You're not just one of the best receivers now. You're having a prime that rivals any prime in the history of the game. How are you going to replace that? However, it only became a story because Mike Tomlin, your coach, said, hey, when guys do that, that's why you see guys not spend their whole career in one place. It was your coach that set that off. How did, what did you think when, he, when you read that quote? I mean, publicly, you know, um... You know, it was, it was kind of harsh when you hear those type of things. But I know his intention. Uh, I got a great relationship with Coach Tomlin. I know what he mean in regards of how he feel about me as a player. And, um, you know, I just think he had to come down harsh. You know, it was championship week, uh, of course, of a big game and a big game week. 
and we're just trying to harden it into distraction and minimize it in regards to the game. Now you can't you can't rewind time. You said you owned it. That's it. Like you look forward, and we all respect that. So, let me preface this by saying, sorry, I got to bring this up, but I haven't had a chance to ask you. When you saw the video and you heard in the background coach saying, stay off of social oh, media yeah. <laughs> at the same time you were on Facebook Live, what yeah. went through your mind at that moment? This is bad. <laughs> I was like. Uh, let me hurry. Let me quietly end it right now. <laughs> you know, I got it. I think this is an appropriate question to ask you. We keep talking about folks assuming that it's time for you to go. Yeah. How do you feel? You feel you you want to stay in Pittsburgh because uh, uh, you do want your money. You have not gotten your money yet, and other dudes who can play. Dare I say we're not available for different reasons, whereas you have been very reliable. Damn right, they couldn't stay off the weed. My point is that's not your issue. Do you want to be in Pittsburgh for years to come? Still is for life. Antonio, how did you feel when you, when you heard Big Ben say that he was contemplating retirement? Well, over the course of the season, you know, He's a veteran player. He's been mm -hmm. playing the game a long time. I think he just finished his 13th season. Um, you know, I don't think he will retire. I just think, you know, when you lose a, a big game, such as a championship game, you know, it, it takes a lot of air out of you. And I think he's a guy who only play to win, and he play every year to win championship. So I think he's just uh, saying that, knowing he got to renew his commitment, uh, know he got to find some fire in the offseason that's going to drive him to keep him going. But I'm sure he'll be back. When, when you guys are, you talk about the three best men. A.J. Green is here. It's really the four best receivers in the league. But um, the, the, the talk was you and Odell and Julio Jones. Odell, with the boat and the partying, drops passes. He drops off the list. Now it's you and Julio Jones. Julio's still playing, and he's still playing because he had an insane game. Now, you also played very well, but and the way they defensively scheme you and all that makes a difference. But is that something that's on your radar? Like, oh, Julio had a big game in the playoffs. Now I'm dropped to second. I'm trying to be first. Is that something on your radar? Uh, not at all, but I know it's a competitive sport. We all watch each other, and uh, we all see what each other do, and we all trying to outdo each other. And uh, that's what made the sport competitive, and that what made the game fun. But, you know, some things are out of your control, you know. It's all about winning, you know. So if Matt Ryan get Julio 80 targets and I get 10 targets, you know, you know, it don't matter. It's all about finding a way to win and being in those big games, which is well, the Super Bowl. Julio Jones is a bad boy. He's been compared to you and others. But on the other side is a team that kind of whipped y'all in the AFC Championship game. I'm very disgusted by that. Who do you have winning the Super Bowl, Antonio Brown, and why? I got the New England Patriots. Yeah. Yeah. Bill Belichick. Bill Belichick is a great coach. Uh, he got great schemes. Uh, Tom Brady, you know he's going to move the ball, possess the ball, and put up points. And you're going to have to match that intensity. I think Atlanta got a great offense that could combat um, the Patriots' offense. But um, they're going to have to minimize on, upon their mistakes. Uh, Belichick's going to be running new DBs in, new linebackers mixing up the schemes of the coverage and uh, making it difficult for the Atlanta offense. Yeah. Uh, go ahead, Mike. No, I mean, uh, that's, that's, I think, conventional wisdom. But is part of that, does that sway you a little bit? Because if they win, at least you guys lost to the Super Bowl champs. In other words, are you rooting for the Patriots at this point? I'm not rooting for anyone. You know, I'm, <laughs> I'm just a fan of the game and looking at the game from a football player standpoint. And uh, I just feel... That's how the game will unfold. Before I let you get on out of here, because I'm a Steelers fan, what the hell do the Steelers need to do to get to this game? I mean, it's getting on my nerves. Y'all ain't been there since 2010. It's been a while. It's been a while. Well, we just need to have everybody in the organization all in, from the upstairs to downstairs, the people that volunteer to help us out. Uh, we got to be committed with the guys in the locker room. How about a pass rush? Would that help? A pass rush to actually have the ability to get at the opposing quarterback so he ain't sit, sitting in the pocket calling his fans. Or Martavis on the other side, away. available for a whole season would be yeah. good too, right? That helps as well. Yes. This one's getting personal for Stephen A. right now. Antonio Brown, so good to see you. Thank you so much. Presented by Visa. I need to swipe to win. Keep swiping, yes. Coming up next, we go from one of the greatest win. wide receivers win. of all time to arguably the greatest running back of all time. You know who that is. It is Barry Sanders. Beautiful Houston cheerleaders. He made his Super Bowl pick doing it right now using hashtag FT Super Pick. We'll tell you who he went with after the break.
break it down for us. Do the Patriots owe success to the tough rule? Hell yeah. Absolutely. Every dynasty catches breaks. Michael Jordan pushed off Brian Russell. Derek Jeter hit a home run that Jeffrey Meyer interfered with. I'm a Montana guy, even though I give Brady love. You have a hell of a case for Brady, but he wouldn't be my greatest ever. Antonio Brown's going to be in the house. You know we got a lot to talk to him about. And then, of course, Mollywood. That's when folks ask us questions. And we all know I'm a man of the people. Our number two of First Take coming at you right now. I love you. Welcome back to First Take, presented by Bass Pro Shops. And we are just getting started, right, gentlemen? We got a whole nother hour. Let's do it. We ready to do it? Okay. Let's do it. And we begin with Tom Brady, who is tied for the most Super Bowl titles for a quarterback in NFL history, but he also has two giant losses in the big game. You know what I mean, Max Kellerman? Sure do. Big Blues pass rush swarmed Brady in their two Super Bowl meetings and held Brady's bunch to under 20 points in both cases. Max, will the Falcons' defense get to Brady? like our G-men did. No, I mean, that was the giant strength with those with those guys, interchangeable linemen who could also play, you know, tackle. They could play all over guys like Justin Tuck and Strahan, obviously, on the first one. Uh, that, was the, that was what they were known for. And then clutch quarterback play from Eli. This is a completely different type of Falcons team, and I expect that Brady will be well protected because of offensive line schemes and, and running block running backs blocking and, and, and all kinds of stuff that Belichick will have prepared. Uh, and it's, you really have to pick your poison if you're the Falcons. You want to play zone and then hope for pressure? That's what Devontae Freeman said. Or, or do you want to play man and try to blitz? Either way, Brady's going to score a lot of points against this team. This is not a great defense. Um, so, no, they're not going to. It's, it's a very different team than the kind of formula that the Giants use for success. I wouldn't say it quite that way. First of all, Vic, Vic Beasley's a beast. 15 and a half sacks on the season. Secondly, Dwight Freeney, the ageless wonder that is Dwight Feeney, uh, Freeney, Adrian Clayburn, uh, Clayburn, and these boys. I'm looking at Atlanta, and here's what I'm thinking about okay. more so than anything. We watched Tom Brady step back in the pocket against.